In today's video, um, Sharon Berman, who owns a gym down in uh, St. Lucie, has called to talk to me about recording testimonials and uh, also about increasing her productivity in, in creating some marketing. <laughs> Start the show. No. <laughs> I'm no dummy. <laughs> okay, so before we get started, um, oh, no, there you go. Here, no, go ahead. Go ahead and do this. Put, put it right up there. There we go. There we go. Okay, so what is that? Tell everybody first your name, and then what is that? Okay, so uh, my name is Sharon Berman, and I'm the owner of Legion Transformation Center, LTC, um, it's a gym in St. Lucie West where we transform your body. <laughs> awesome. And then COVID hit. Great. Okay. So I know one of the things that you said, and, and I'm open to, you know, try to try not to think about the fact that I'm recording this. Try. Recording what? Okay. <laughs> and so uh, I'm going to, I'm going to give you some information based on, what you had contacted me about, and then we'll go into whatever else you had some questions about. Does that work? Okay. Sure. Because I know one of the things that you had asked me about was testimonials. Yes. Okay. So um, I am of a very firm belief that your more natural, casual kind of testimonials are more impressive than ones that are all done up professionally like people like me. <laughs> I wish I wish that weren't true. <laughs> but but and, and I actually have a couple that somebody helped me put together with you know some free software and I'll show it to you later. But um and and I love them. It's just then I need him to throw a couple more together. Like I, I just I just, but, but what I'm going to tell you is I don't think you actually need software for this. I mean, that's, that's the point I'm going to get to is okay. that you really don't even need software. There's it. What are you doing to get your testimonials right now? Um, I, I don't have that many, but okay. what happens is I'm standing at the front desk it, where we just finished a Saturday class. For example, we've got this girl, she's a, um, a detective mm -hmm. and uh, she just, every time she finishes a class, she talks about it as if I paid her to stand there and make a commercial. Like, I'm like, wait a minute, let me grab my camera and say it all over again. Right. So the few people I did get, um, let's say I done maybe five, I just bring them in and I set them up on a stool by the weights. And I say, you know, I, I don't do a question and answer thing. I just say, tell, you know, a short blurb about what, what got you in here, why you love it and why you're staying. Um, That's great. And I'll tell you, I have one question that you could ask that would, you could get away from all of that and actually, great. and actually get a, probably a better testimonial, nine out of 10 times, a better testimonial than asking those three questions. Okay. One question. I like question. easy. And, and, and I'm, let me tell you why it works. So the reason why this works is if you ask people, first of all, if you ask them for a testimonial or ask them to go through the steps like you're talking about, it seems less genuine because it almost seems rehearsed. Um, it's, it's, about, it's about them and they're thinking, okay, this is a testimonial. And so then they're thinking about you and what does she need to hear? I mean, there's all these things that go on you know, in, in little tiny little micro. And it was very apparent in some more than others. Yeah, exactly. Work. But here's a question. The reason this question works, I promise I'll tell you it. Here's a question. The reason this question works is they stop thinking about you and they stop thinking about themselves. Huh. And the reason is, let me give you the question and it'll all make sense. What you ask them is, if you had a friend that you know would benefit from this service, what would you tell them to get them to come here? Okay. Can you give me one sec and say it one more time? Sure. If you had a friend that you know would benefit from being here, what would you tell them to get them to come into the front door? Now, all of a sudden, they're not thinking about themselves. Mm -hmm. They're not thinking about you. 
they're not thinking about the gym. They're thinking about their friend. And how do I convince my friend to come here? And they're mm. going to say things that you never would have asked for. Mm. Right? They're thinking about how would I convince my friend? And then they're going to tell you, some of them are going to come out and say, well, you know what? I joined this, I joined this gym and I was, I was having, you know, I was having all these troubles, whatever mm -hmm. it is they go through. Just got a divorce. You know, I just got a divorce. I needed, and I went to this gym and it's just been so amazing. The gym instructors are incredible. So they're going through and telling you all the things you wanted to hear and we're trying to pull out mm -hmm. of them and mm -hmm. they're pulling it out of themselves for you because they're talking about their friend. This really works good for me because I've got the most awesomest referral program. There you go. <laughs> so, but if you do this one question, now it's not going to work for everybody. Every once in a while, you'll have this person that just, they either have no personality, <laughs> they don't have friends. <laughs> or they're, they know they're on camera and they just. And they just freeze. And that is going to happen, but that would have happened if you had the other questions. Right, right. At least this one has the increased likelihood of I getting them it. to not think about themselves, not think about the camera, not think about you. And you'll know because you'll see them when we think, we actually look up into our heads. It's just, right. it's just what we do. And so, so you'll, you'll see them do that. So one question I have for you is yeah. for a couple of them actually. Um, actually probably all of them so far, except the one that I really wanted the, <laughs> the detective at the front desk. Um, I've asked them in advance. So, you know, one lady came in and she's in a dress and makeup and I'm like, you don't look like you should be in a gym right now. <laughs> and, and the other one or two. Um, so the question for you though is, I asked them to do it for me and do I ask them in advance or do I do it you know, on their way out of a killer class where they, they're on that endorphin high and they're feeling great. And I'm like, oh, by the way, can I do a quick little, thing? you know, what, would, you, what you may want to do is do a little test and just have a couple of people that you know you want a testimonial from and, and tell them beforehand, before, you know, when they walk in the door, I'd love for you to do a testimonial for me. I just have one question for you. I'm going to ask you what you would, what you would ask. Let them, let them think about it a little bit. Okay. I'm going to ask you how you would convince a friend of yours to come in the door because you know it would help them just and, perfect and so that they'll they go then they go to the class yeah sure no problem catch me after class they go to the class they're on a high they're maybe a little sweaty when they come out or they've taken a no shower bad. but they've got their but they're you know gymmed they look like gym right. they've got the endorphin highlight and, yeah and now i know exactly what i'd tell my friend you know and and they might even throw in the fact that they just took this class i mean it's Right. I think that's, that's fantastic. Um, that the, some of the best information can come when somebody has, especially if they're thinking about their friend, can come from just giving them a moment to, to pull all the words together. Right, right, and right. And again, they're not thinking at that point about, I need to tell a testimonial. I need to give you what you're looking for. Yeah. What are you looking for? You know, what are the best words? Right, <laughs> you know, right. And just free flows because they're thinking about their friend. I love it. So that's, that would be what I would do. And then you don't have to worry about it being perfect. You don't have, it's, you cut off the end where, it, where the camera is just sitting until they start. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. then you cut off the end and there is, you don't have to do any other editing. Just slap those up. If you could slap up one of those up a week. Right. So nothing. When you say cut off the end, mm -hmm. so I'm going to be taking this with my iPhone. Yep. Um, what am I cutting it? <laughs> um, your iPhone has the capability to cut the beginning and end off, but if okay. it's like some kind of Windows app, right? Yeah, it doesn't have to be quite that complicated though. Where are you going to be uploading these? Honestly, if I could, I would rather not have to. I mean, if I don't have to do editing, I guess do I, I, I could if do you're going to upload and put it onto Facebook. Because if you upload it, I don't know if you, the capability is on Facebook, but if you upload it to YouTube, it'll actually allow you to cut off the beginning and end. Is you YouTube know? free? Yeah. Because I, I remember I watched something that you had given us in that Black Friday special, I think. It talked about YouTube versus one or two other options. Yeah. YouTube is fantastic 
especially for a longer term solution because YouTube is a search engine. It's not a social media platform per se. Mm -hmm. It's the number two search engine in the world behind Google and Google owns YouTube. Okay. So it's a really great place to be. Um, and then after you have that, you know, edited, whether you edit it on your iPhone or you edit it on YouTube, you can always download that and upload it to Facebook, or you can share it when, when you go into Facebook and you can share your YouTube video, just to let you know, if you don't upload a video straight to Facebook, yeah. it is less likely to let other people know about it. It doesn't like when you put links to, to YouTube because Facebook is friends with Bing. Uh, YouTube is friends with Google. All right. So what I want to do is upload it from YouTube. Well, you can, you can upload it to YouTube so you can do your quick editing. It's seriously, it's very, very quick and easy. I can show you another, another time how to do that. Okay. Um, and upload it over there, or I can send you a, a, a video on how to do that. That'd be great. Um, and then upload it there. And then after it's sitting there, after you have it all uploaded, then you can download the edited version. Okay. Right, so you can download that and then upload it to Facebook. Okay. That you're going to get more bang for your buck. More people will see it. Because if you simply go into Facebook and you click share video and then you pull a, a YouTube link in, mm -hmm. it will not show it to as many people. Okay. Because it's not Facebook's video. It's YouTube's video. Got it. It's all very. Okay. Bizarre. No, that makes complete <laughs> That's sense. how it works. It makes complete sense because you said that you shared that somewhere else in something that you do. And like, now that I heard it more than once. It, yeah, it makes it, more sense. Yeah. So Plus, I think that is your solution for, for your testimonials. I, I don't think you need to hire me to do okay. that. It's okay. just, you know, your, your iPhone, seriously, they're doing videos using iPhones now. So yeah, you know, go ahead. The only thing this guy did was, um, you know, kind of rolled the person, like, let's say I had a testimony of three people, you know, and he, he edited pieces of it and rolled them in and kind of made it look cute. And, and oh yeah, we can do all kinds of tricky things, but you don't need that. Especially if you're just doing them on the fly, people are going to love the fact that it is, that it's, genuine. that it's more spontaneous. Yeah. These are people in the raw, you know, especially with, especially with most, you know, there's so many people in the country right now that are stuck in their homes. Right. And because of that, because this is how we're viewing people, right? We don't have all the distractions of other people in the room, of other things going on. And so we're so much more in tune with what's real mm -hmm. and what's being faked. Mm. And we want that rawness, that realness. You know, people are kind of fed up with all, you know, the big machine uh, right. of corporations. And so if you were just, you know, with your, with your gym going and talking to one person a week, if you could do that, you know, if it, maybe it's one person every two weeks, whatever works for you, but do it on a regular, consistent basis. Mm -hmm. It will do so much for you, especially if they're just, they're just raw and plain. Yeah. And I could tell in the few that I've done, that made a huge difference. It does make a difference. It and, really you know, does. And then there was even this one girl who went after this girl and she was so cute and, and more, everything flowed easily. And then this girl got stuck trying to like almost mimic what she just saw and it just wasn't yeah and you and that and you definitely don't want that you don't want to line people up and have people seeing other people because it just messes with their it's heads not real yeah so just one you know one a week one every two weeks whatever one works week. for you okay is there a, um a recommended time that you know of that is a better day or time to post something like that or it doesn't matter um on youtube it doesn't matter on Facebook, it depends on when, when people are viewing your stuff. Um, you can go into uh, insights on your yeah. Facebook page, go into sites, insights in your Facebook page, and it'll tell you what day and time um, is best. 
Oh, and, and that just depends on the person. So I, I couldn't sit here and tell you it's Wednesdays at two. Okay. Um, I'd be talking out of my ass. So <laughs> <laughs> you don't want that. <laughs> so use, let, let insights tell you, and that can okay. change over time. So pay attention mm -hmm. to that Yeah. because it, it may not stay the same. Maybe okay. right now it is Wednesdays at two, but you know, a, a couple of months from now, it's Tuesdays at, you know, when o'clock in the morning, you just don't know. Percent. Yeah. Yeah. Because when school starts or when, you know, there's a holiday, you just it's don't less know. virtual. So just pay attention. Okay. Great. Okay. So I wouldn't do that. Don't hire me. I mean, you know, yeah. when you need to, but <laughs> you don't, you don't need to for testimonials. Thank you. Okay. So you have any other questions for me? Um, the other questions were more general. I wanted to have something sure. specific. Um, the more general is still social media stuff. Um, you know, like what I've been, what's been recommended is um, you have different kinds of posts like um, informative versus question and answer type. I, I, I forget what was recommended. Motivational. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. I just feel like I get so stuck trying to come up with stuff. Um, you know, there's only so many pictures of people doing planks. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, to me, this is a really cool picture. But it's the same to everybody else that it looked like three weeks ago. You know, just a different group. You know what I mean? Um, so, I guess I'm just wondering if you have any kind of um, tips for posting to either Facebook or Instagram or both, whether it be even resources to go to, to get, it, it's my lack of creativity that I get stuck at, I think. Yeah. And you're probably more creative than you think. Um, you know, as soon as you say that you're not the creative type, then that's yeah. true. Right. Do you know what I mean? I do. So, um, it may be, it, it's, it makes more sense to say, you know what, I'm working on my creativity. Okay. Because as, as long as you say you're not creative, then, you, then you're right. I, I, th they're the only words that help me describe why I get stuck. Why does it take me an hour and a half to come up with this short little picture with three words or three sentences that it seems like it would take you five minutes and it takes me an hour and a half. I don't understand the, the well, what, what program are you using to create a, a meme? Because that's what it sounds like you're doing. Is I'm, I'm, a, I'm actually just on it. using a pic monkey to create different kind of collages or pictures with stuff on it to try to make planks and sit-ups and lunges look more eye-catching. Okay. Let me go ahead into pic monkey real quick. You know, uh, what that. I use is Canva. I've heard of PicMonkey. I've just never used it. So I just want to take a peek real quick. So it's not really a meme that I'm creating. It's just, um, are oh, you just editing the video or the picture? The picture. Yeah. You use what one did you say you use? Canva C A N V A.com. It's free. It looks very similar actually to PicMonkey because it looks like PicMonkey. You can put words on it. Yeah. I can do texts and tons of stuff. I, I really, okay. so they look very similar. Uh, okay. Canvas just been around for a while, but, um, yeah, it looks like it works very, very similar to Canva. Okay. So <laughs> here's what I would do is, but this is me. You have to find out what works for you. I know one of the things that works for me, but again, may not work for you mm -hmm. is if I know that, you know, this month I really want to get, you know, I want to put 10 pictures, you know, from the gym up and I want text on them, you know, instead of trying to do that one a week or two a week, which could start just driving me crazy. It would drive me crazy mm -hmm. is I would set aside a time and say, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to slam out these 10 for the month and then I'm done and schedule them. Right. And just schedule it because for me, and again, this may not be you to me thinking about doing two a week would overwhelm me mm -hmm. because then I've got to come up with two different ideas, two separate times. Oh my gosh, it's Wednesday. I said, I'd put one up today. Right. And now I have to figure it out. 
Whereas if at the beginning of the month, I just say, you know what, I'm going to create 10 of them. Let me just sit here. Let me look at some, um, look at other people for inspiration. Maybe mm -hmm. it's some motivational um, people and they don't have to be gym people. I mean, these can, it could be sure. you know, Gary Vaynerchuk, um, um, Molly, what is, what is her name? Molly, 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 Molly Robbins, Mel Robbins, Mel Robbins. I think it's Mel Robbins. There's, there's so many people that you can look to and just get inspiration from them. Um, okay. Or, you know, Oh my gosh, there's so many online. You can just go, you know, motivational quotes. Uh, don't, yeah, don't quit. I've done don't that. Quit quotes and just, grab a couple okay stick them on the picture get it all done that's yeah. done boom don't even I think it for the rest of the month that's what i've seen and heard that people do and i don't know why i just didn't think of it because i've got a gazillion pictures on my phone now and then just do that just set aside a time and do that and then you don't have to think about it the rest of the month then it doesn't become this thing it, it's almost like um it takes me longer because it's like just stuck in the middle of all these other millions of things I have to exactly. do. Exactly. Not my favorite thing to do. So then it seems to like. Right. Oh. And so instead it's like this bee that's just kind of poking you and it's just annoying. You're like, oh my gosh, now I have to get this done. I like, think it stung me. <laughs> Seriously. More than once. So just set aside time at the beginning okay. of the month. Figure out how many you're going to do every month. Right. You know, and just say, you know, okay, today, this month, I'm going to do one a week. I'm going to do two a week, whatever it is, figure out that number, pick out those pictures and just sit down and make yourself do them. And whether it takes it's you good. an hour or two hours, it's done. Right. Because an hour or two hours of that, and that'll shorten over time. You do that every single month. Better. It'll take you less time every <laughs> single month. Because an hour is really pushing it. Now. <laughs> It will take you less time though. Over yeah. time, it'll take you less time because you'll get into this routine of it. I like it. And you'll get a system because if you're sitting down and making yourself do a block of it, you will come up with a system. Right. Whereas if you're trying to make it do, oh my gosh, I haven't done my meme this week. Let me pick out a picture. And then it's this annoying thing. And then the class do. starts and people are coming in and they're distracting and I can't concentrate. And then I put it off till tomorrow. And then it doesn't get done. I mean, be truthful, right? <laughs> then sometimes oh it just God, doesn't get done. So this Literally. way, it's something you schedule. It's in a block. It's done. You don't have to think about it. And you schedule them out for the rest of the month. Perfect. Or you just pick them. Oh, it's Tuesday. Let me just post that picture real quick. Boom. It's in a folder on your phone or it's in a folder on PicMonkey. Right. And then just upload it and you're done. And it takes, you know, five minutes instead of an hour. Because I'll bet you if you do that block of time, you're going to mm -hmm. save yourself so much time over that month. I'm sure. I'm absolutely sure. Yes. Great stuff. Awesome. Anything else? I think that's good for now. I really appreciate Yay. that. I'm excited. Awesome.